Hello guys and welcome back to this video. So in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step on how to trade derivatives on Bybit, otherwise known as features or perpetual contract. Okay. So if you have confusions of differentiating derivatives, okay, from features, from perpetual contract and all of that, I'll be answering all of those questions in this video. And at the end of this video, you should be able, even if you're a complete beginner in this space, Okay, you should be able to know how to take our signals on Telegram. By the way, if you are not on Telegram, make sure you use the link in the video description or my bio to join us on Telegram. You should be able to take some signals, set TPs, okay, be able to do basic analysis, all right, um, to start trading features on Bybit and all of that. And we are starting a, ta a challenge, okay, for features, traders, and all of that. In that challenge i'll be teaching you everything okay i'll be providing the signals and all of that so you want to make sure that you are active on telegram because that is where everything will be taking place so if you are not on telegram make sure you use the link on my bio or in the video description to join us okay so with this being said i'll be answering all the questions every confusion you have about derivatives features or perpetual contract i will explain everything in this video and if you see this video to the end believe me okay i will take you from that beginners level okay to advanced level when it comes to features, derivatives, or perpetual contract trading in the crypto space. Now, for you to be able to follow in all of this, you need a Bybit account. And I'm giving away $20 to everybody, okay, who just signed up with my Bybit link in the video description, okay? So make sure that you sign up. You can join us on Telegram. The links will be posted there. You sign up on Bybit using that particular link and you get $20 welcome bonus and other bonuses that you stand, you know, to gain when you sign up on Bybit. And if you really want to make money in this space, in the crypto space, whether via spot trading, futures trading, airdrops, and all of that, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. If this is the first time of seeing my video, okay, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so that whenever we publish new videos like this, you'll be the first to be notified. And as always, guys, always smash that like button, okay? And if you have questions, you can always use the comment section. Now, without further ado, let's get into the business. All right, so here I am on my phone, so I'll be doing everything, okay? Um using the mobile app all right here i am on my phone on my bybit app once you've created your account and you log into your account this is what your bybit app looks like okay and down here you have these menus that say home market derivatives sport asset okay on bybit we do derivatives okay and just briefly guys what is derivatives derivatives is a contract between two or more parties okay that is based on an underlying financial asset all right so I will say underlying financial asset. What it simply means is that if I want to trade Bitcoin, I don't need to own Bitcoin to be able to trade Bitcoin. If I want to trade Ethereum, okay, Dogecoin, you can name them. Any of these crypto assets that I want to trade, I don't need to own them, which is why I need USDT, USDC, or any of the stable coin that is supported by whatever exchange you are using. And on Bybit, if I click on the derivatives option, okay, so perpetual contract, USDT perpetual contract is a, a form of derivatives. Features itself, as you can see listed at the top here, is a form of derivatives. Option is a form of derivatives. And this type of trading, whether perpetual contract, features, or option, they are all derivatives. Okay, they are all known as derivatives. But the one we trade as crypto traders, when we talk about features, when we talk about derivatives, it is the perpetual contract and it is USDT perpetual contract. So it means if I want to trade BTC, I want to trade Ethereum, I want to trade Dogecoin, I want to trade Nordcoin, all of these coins, I need USDT to be able to trade them or to be able to speculate on the feature of that particular asset that I want to trade. Okay, so I'm trading derivatives known as USDT perpetual contract, not features, because if I come up here, here, once you click on the perpetual contract right here, okay, and I go ahead and search for, let's say, BTC, all right? So you will see here, it will tell me my available balance in USDT, all right? So what it means is that I need USDT to trade whatever asset that I choose here, whatever crypto asset that I choose here, okay? Now, if I switch to the features option, the features option, okay, the difference between features and perpetual, though we refer to all of them as feature trading, but here, understand this, guys, the difference between features and perpetual okay is that on the futures trading it has expiring date as you can see btc usdt or usd that is selected it has an expiring date and what is the expiring date here okay it is 0927 so it means that whenever you take this trade 
this contract will expire on the um, 27th of September. All right, that day, whether you're in profit or not, your trade will automatically be closed. Okay, but in perpetual, we don't need expiring date, and it is perpetual that we always trade. So when you hear crypto traders saying Fisher's trading, Fisher's trading, it is USDT perpetual contract. So whenever you come to buy bid, instead of going to features, make sure that you are on the perpetual option. All right. So whatever signal uh, group you belong to, wherever you are getting your signals from, it is USDT perpetual contract. Okay. And then option, option trading, which is another form of derivative trading, is equally a different style of trading. Okay. Where you need to predict on prices without even owning the underlying asset. All right. So for features and this, there are few supported tokens that you can trade right there. For instance, if I go and click on the BTC USDT option, so here on Bybit, it is only BTC and Ethereum that is supported on the features, and they have expiring date. You can see numbers attached to it. Those numbers attached are the days that this contract will expire. This is not the one we always trade. It is perpetual contract that we always trade. Okay, so whatever I'm showing you here is the same thing or across all other exchanges. Okay, but the only difference is that why Bybit use derivatives? Okay, other exchanges will use features instead of derivatives. For instance, if I open my Binance app, okay, you see here that it is features instead of derivatives. And when you click on the features option at the top here on Binance, you see USDM features. This means you need USDT to trade here. If you go to Coin M features, here you will need BTC, just like we have features on Bybit. Okay, then we'll have option trading and all of these other options that you have here. All right. So whenever you hear us say features trading, we are simply referring to maybe derivatives on Bybit, but majorly what we trade is USDT perpetual contract. All right, so back to Bybit. So whenever you come to Bybit, okay, and you click on derivatives, make sure that you are always on the perpetual, you know, option, not features, not option. All right. So with that out of the way, let's go on. Now, the next thing you want to do, this is where you select a pair you want to trade. Okay, let's say it is Doge, it is whatever pair you want to trade, you go ahead and select it here. Then the next thing here on features, we trade with um, leverage. Okay, so as a beginner, I always advise between 2x at most 10x leverage, guys. Okay, the leverage, what it simply means is that if I have $10 and I want to buy a contract worth, let's say $100, I can use 10x leverage to magnify it, okay? my the the amount of contract that i'm going to buy all right now what the leverage helps you do is to increase your buying power okay and the more it increase your buying power the more profit it will make for you and the more profit it will make for you the same thing the same way it makes profit bigger or faster for you is the same way to take money from you okay so i always advise that you use between you know five or two or three or four at most 10x leverage if you are just starting out in this space all right so that's the first thing you want to do you make sure that you select your leverage by clicking there if i click on that option here it says 75 i can go ahead and use the slider to adjust the leverage to what i want okay let's say i want to use 20x leverage i can go ahead and adjust that um you can equally click here to type whatsoever you want and then click on save and click ok okay and that leverage will be saved for you and the next thing here where you see cross, yours may be showing isolated or it may be showing cross. Okay, this is your margin mode. With cross, if I trade with cross, whatsoever balance that I have here is what I'm risking. Okay, so if I get liquidated, if I trade and I don't set stop loss and I'm using cross margin, okay, I will lose the whole of my capital. But if I go with isolated margin, it means that if I enter a trade with $1 and I don't set stop loss, and I get liquidated, I will lose that $1, all right? So why cross margin, okay, will help you stay in the market longer, it can equally make you lose your whole money if you don't use stop loss, okay? But if you're a disciplined trader, you always use stop losses, then whether cross or isolated, it doesn't really, you know, matter. So always make sure that you are trading on isolated so that you don't say, oh, I forgot to put stop loss, and when I came back, I got liquidated. If you get liquidated on cross margin mode, you will lose the whole of the money you have on your futures trading account. And if you get liquidated on isolated margin, you will lose just part of it. Okay. So with that being said, the next thing right here, okay. Um, if you don't have money here already, you just click on this plus icon and you can transfer, okay, funds from whatever. You just click on the transfer option down here 
and you can transfer as you can see here i can actually transfer from all of these different wallet either from my derivatives you know and all of that so since it's derivatives okay the wallet you are transferring your money to should always be the one down here so we transfer from funding or spot wallet to derivatives and when we want to transfer money out let's say we make profit and want to transfer it out okay you will now click on this middle arrow right here all right to switch from derivatives to funding so if I switch this and I want to transfer from, you know, derivatives to funding, it means that the money I'm transferring out, I don't want to use it for trading. All right. And whatever is left on the derivatives trading is what I'm going to use for trading. OK, so that's how you get money into your account. And the next option there is your order types. OK, so we have limit order. We have market order. We have conditional. We have chase limit. OK, we have scale order. We have the TWAP and then we have the iceberg order type. All right, the one that I use most of the time that I will be using in this um, trading um, challenge and the rest will be limit, okay, market, and then the scale order type. These are the three other types that we'll be using most of the time. All right, I've made videos explaining what limit order is, what market order is, what the scale order, how to use them already. So you want to make sure you check out that video on the channel. I will probably try to leave the links in the video description so that you go ahead and take a look at that, okay? But um as i said earlier in the process just join us on telegram live every day and then you'll be able to learn how this different order type works now if i go ahead and select the limit order once i want to trade with the limit order it means that i want to either buy or sell let's say if i go to the chart option here right here okay you see the chart and then this is a trade the trade is where we can take all of our trades but if i want to chart i want to analyze this market i will go to the chart option and right here i can select any time frame of my choice and say okay we want to actually short btc maybe if it pulls up back to this area we want to take a trade down okay then we can go ahead and set a limit order for that so that even whether we are there or not whether we are online or not once it gets to that condition we have given it the price okay the um this this will automatically trigger for us all right so you go ahead and put the price we can say okay we want to short this when it gets to 58k okay so you go ahead and put the price and then down here is where you are going to put the amount of money you want to raise okay now normally it would be in the name of the token that you are trading okay so if i go ahead by default it will be on this order by quantity so if i click on that option and i click on confirm you see that it will be in btc all right but to be on a safe side i just always change this to usdt where it says order by value okay go ahead and click on that now, once I change this, okay, to the order by value, let's say since I'm using 20x leverage and I want to short this market, okay, I can either use this slider, all right, if I use like, let's say 20 or 30% of my capital, all right, and I go ahead and put a price here, okay, so this is what it's going to cost me, this is the quantity of BTC that I'm buying, okay, normally it would have cost me more than this, okay, but because I'm using leverage, it will only cost me 5 usdt to trade this all right it will only cost me five USDT. so that five usdt is what is going to be as your margin all right so that if i now enter a trade whether i enter a, a short trade or a long trade if i use five dollars one margin if the trade goes in my favor by 100 percent i'm making 100 percent of that five dollar that i'm using if it goes in my favor by 200 1000 percent it is 1000 percent of that five dollars that i'm using all right if i decide to use 50 percent of my capital or there are bad. so let me just use a slider and go ahead this is 50 50 percent okay so it's going to use you know about 8.7 dollars for me and then that is what it will be calculated okay as your margin all right then if i go ahead and just type let's say 200 dollars right here okay to cost me around the same amount okay which is around 8.7 if i type 300 dollars all right to cost me around 14 dollars or there about so what this simply means is that if I wanted to buy this amount of BTC, all right, it would have cost me $300. But because I am using 20x leverage, I only need $14 or thereabout to buy this amount of USDT. And if this thing starts going in profit, whether 100%, 200%, the percentage is calculated based on this cost. Okay, this cost that you see here, which is $14, and that cost is what is going to be your margin. All right then if you want to set tps um sl that is stop loss take profit level before you enter the trade you go ahead and click on this option right here now once you click on it let's say you are taking a signal the signal say take profit at 55k 
all right so you go ahead and type 55k there um, sorry we are shorting okay at 55k let me do that again uh, that's another thing you need to take note of if you come in here to set the tp level so if you want to long make sure you're on the long option if you are shorting make sure you're on the short option all right so i'll go ahead and say my take profit will be around 55 okay and then it will tell you when we get to, to 55 from your entry your profit will be 83 percent okay and uh, this is the amount of money you will make and then you go ahead and say okay i want to put stop loss at 59k so you put 59 all right and it tell you that at 59k with the 20x leverage you'll be losing minus 56 percent and the amount of money you will lose is around this eight dollars if this gets there all right after that you go ahead and click on confirm and remember it is short okay you go ahead and click on the sell short option if it is long go ahead and click on the buy long option so what is sell short or buy long simply means is that if i click i use the buy long option it means that i'm projecting that btc will go up if i use the sell option i mean it means that i'm predicting that btc will go down and this all depends on the analysis that you've done on the chart here and all of that that is what would determine whether the market is going up or it is going down now with that being said once you set up a trade successfully okay once the trade is already running once it are triggered and it's running you'll see them on that position but if it is limit orders you'll see them on that orders all right and all of that if you want to check the history of your trades you can click on this option right here and you can go ahead okay uh, it will bring you to this page you can go ahead and check okay your positions current positions okay current orders tools okay um history of your trades and then the pnls of your trades okay uh, whether it is in profit or it is in losses you'll see all of those details right there okay so yeah that's basically everything i need to explain to you guys here this is how you use the derivatives interface this is how you take trades all right and if your trade is running already i've already made a video on how to set partials okay how to close half of your position how to move stop loss to break even and all of that there is a separate video on that you want to make sure that you quality see that video to equally help you in all of this okay i hope this video is helpful guys if it is give it a, a, a thumbs up okay if there's anything you're still confused with you can use the comment section or join us on telegram using the link in the video description and ask your questions and i'll be able to provide answers to all of those questions but for now that is it for this video guys i'll see you in the next video